And now, please, welcome to the stage your favorite bug, your pirate pile, the kingpin himself, a very good-looking bear wearing people clothes, Vincent D'Onofrio! Hi. The Dan Curtis Legacy Award was named after the legendary television producer to recognize fellow masters of the genre, TV, and quality programming. In the past, this award has gone to incredible luminaries such as Vince Gilligan, Brian Fuller, and Sarah Schechter. And tonight, we're honored to add to that list the head of Marvel Television, Jeff Loeb. Now, Jeff isn't just an executive. He's a writer, collaborator. His willingness to engage with the creators on the ground has enabled Marvel Television to carve out its own identity with startling success. Unlike its cinematic counterparts, whose heroes fight to save the universe, Jeff's shows highlight heroes who fight to save us from equally important issues we all face every day. Heroes against crime, corruption, and apathy. The kind of heroes that my character, Wilson Fisk, loves to hate. If Jeff has anything to say about it, and I'm sure he does, we haven't seen the last of these scrappy, tormented Marvel heroes on our screens, so stay tuned. Let's take a look at some of Jeff's work. A legacy is not something easily found in this world. I am what I do in the dark now. At least not by mere mortals. It requires a unique alchemy of great success, perseverance in the face of obstacles, and an ability to tap into the consciousness of the masses. Do it! Not many can say they have created a true legacy the way Jeff Loeb has. So I'm just going to go off script for a second because Jeff Loeb means a lot to me as a person, not only a producer. That meeting Jeff Loeb has set a new bar for me when it comes to people that I get involved with, producers and such, showrunners. He's an incredible person, and he's what I think makes a great producer. He has a lot of artists in him. As well, he's, uh, like it said in the speech, so involved on set with every part of the show every performance, every word in the script, everything. You can count on him to be a producer in the real sense of the word. So it's with great pleasure that the Saturn Awards honor Jeff Loeb with the Dan Curtis Legacy Award. Hi. Uh, those of you that know me know that I never write anything down, so of course tonight I wrote something down. Um, I'm, I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful to everyone here, to the Saturn Awards, to Vincent who came all this way just for me, and to everyone who's ever told a story, because that's how I've always seen myself, as a storyteller. My father would oft often come home late to dinner, but he always had a story. Like when he had these important documents and they had to be delivered by five o'clock and he got to the building just in time and he slipped through the door just as it was getting locked. And there were armed guards, and there were posters on the wall for criminals that had bounties on them, wanted men. But he got through, and he got it done. He'd gone to the post office. <laughs> but in my mind, my dad was sort of Indiana Jones meets Jesse James. And he was a stockbroker for 37 years. But he made me want to be a storyteller. 
The other night I told a friend about how when I was eight years old, I would have a ritual every Saturday afternoon. I'd take out my fully assembled Aurora models of the Universal Monsters. I'd have a plate of cream cheese and jelly sandwiches on Wonder Bread stuffed with wise potato chips. I had a stack of comic books while the Beatles and the Beach Boys played on the stereo. Me, locked in a room with superheroes, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman. Surrounded by them, all I ever wanted to be was a storyteller. And she said to me, look how far that's taken you. To a teenage werewolf playing basketball, to a superhero kid growing up on a Kansas farm, to a blind lawyer who saved New York from Wilson Fisk. I'm so grateful. They say in this business, don't meet your heroes. You'll find out they're just mortals. But I have met them, and they're in this room, and they're in my office and on my sets every day. And all of you are even greater than I ever imagined. I'm so very grateful. Thank you. And the winner is Marvel's Daredevil. This is better. <laughs> uh, somewhere in the back there is, is Drew Goddard, Drew Goddard uh, who started this all off for us, and, and I send great love to him. Uh, and that's who I was talking to when suddenly I turned around and went, I think we just won. Um, uh, this show uh, <laughs> needs a network. Um, <laughs> um, uh, we, uh, it, it simply has uh, the best writing and the best acting and the best everything. Uh, Charlie Cox and Deb Ann Wall, wherever you are, I love you dearly. Uh, and uh, I'm going to let Eric talk. Uh, I have a few people to thank. First of all, everybody here, thank you so much. Obviously, uh, I feel blessed that I got a chance to come in and pitch Jeff, and he picked me out of the litter to run season three. I'm standing on the shoulders of Drew, who's back there. Uh, Charlie Cox, Vincent, Devin, Eldon, Wilson, Bethel, Jaylee, Joanne Welly, who uh, were the cast, and then the writers. Uh, Sam Ernst, Jim Dunn, Dara Resnick, Tamara Becker-Wilkinson, uh, Lee Nasser Dean, Sonia Washington, uh, Tanya Kong, Sarah Stryker, Dylan Gallagher. I'd like to thank the open bar and my girlfriend, Abby. Thank you. 